Hello and good morning and welcome to the video for this Honda CRV. It's a two litre ES car with 77,000 miles on it, so well below the average miles for a vehicle of this type. Just two owners, last owners 10 years, massive service history, brand new MOT until 18th of November 2017 with a few advisories but nothing more than just general bit of wear on the front suspension links. You don't even notice it, it drives very very smoothly it feels like it's covered hardly any miles it's um the es model so it just has ordinary um you know non-color coordinated mirrors and uh, uh bumpers and steel wheels but it does have working air conditioning and a working electric sunroof glass sunroof very tidy inside i've had loads of these over the years they're a cam chain uh variant as well so there's no timing belt to do on them if i'm not mistaken um do check on that it starts on the button, it's got both keys, got remote central locking, that all works. Electric mirrors, electric windows, all working fine. Covered about 40 miles in the car so far and it drives really well. When we put it up on the ramp, the underside was relatively uh, corroded just on the surface, so it's had a good soaking in old oil to hopefully give it some longevity without having to have too much welding done. So, you know, there it is, it's a 16 year old car. Let's run around the tyres. Kumo tyre here, plenty of tread on that, I'd say about 80% to go. This is a Jeweler Bridgestone, relatively new actually, I think these covered probably about 10%. Decent spare on the back, that's a Jeweler as well on a steel rim. This one here, another Bridgestone, well there's looks like those two rear tyres are practically brand new. And this one here, again, practically brand new. Even the headlight lenses are in good shape they normally go opaque these aren't wipers washers all work fine the body works in pretty good order it's a metallic green the interior well the lower interior the seats are very flexible at the rear three seats in the back there's your electric sunroof with the blind let's put the blind across got a bit more light in here you've got a collapsible center armrest uh sorry well it's a, it's a little um uh, console to put your coffees in etc and in the boot you do get a removable picnic table which is in the back as well which is very nifty this rear boot opens with the glass going up and then the back door goes round in an arc but uh, huge space in the back of these when you uh, uh, put the seats down all the books and manuals are there driver's seat look at that very good order Pedal rubbers, spot on. No horrible smells or odors in here. At the moment, there's a decent splash of fuel in the car. Over half a tank. It's got a radio, it's got a cassette player. It's got, as I say, it's got the working air. It's Bath Honda supplied. 77356. ABS light goes out, engine light goes out. Car starts perfectly. So that little armrest is good news, it works well. The clutch is delightful, absolutely beautiful clutch pedal. I couldn't want for more, it's light, it bites well. There's no future clutch issues looming with this car. And I've got a bad knee and if it's a stiff clutch, I hate it. So essentially I could keep this car and run it for many months due to the fact of the light clutch. But look at this warrant, look at the service history. I mean, it's just immense. I haven't really been through it, I mean, it's just all there. Let's just look at the stamps in it. Last service, 75,000 Halfords. And then Halfords again at 74. I mean, he's hardly done any miles. Four, oh, well, that's actually full service. Looks like that's the same service. And there's Honda stamps here. Look, 2012, 2015, 60,000 Honda, Honda 54. Nationwide Auto Centre 49, 43. Oh, cam belt replaced. Sorry, it does have a cam belt done at 36,000 miles. Wow. Well, you know, I wouldn't bother doing it. You just run it until it, uh, until the thing breaks, if it ever does. And look, there we go. There's so great service history. Loads of stamps, loads of bills and receipts there. An HPI report was done in... 2005 when Brian bought it he was a mate of mine 
and uh, it hadn't, uh, I don't know what the miles were, but it uh, didn't have a lot of miles when he bought it. So I did that for him. So I've known the car, he's a decent chap. He's even got the original owner's manual, uh, sorry, owner's catalogue. What would you call it? Brochure, brochure. The original brochure and price list from the main dealer. Two owners on this car. Glove box, locking wheel nut in I saw, yeah, locking wheel nut case for the radio goodness me well it's a pretty decent bit of kit this if you want no dramas and you want a decent four-wheel drive for the winter here it is thanks for watching bye bye